High T Squad are talking to Chisa Life and Adiana Kai revealed that she feels she has to work twice as hard to be had in the industry, especially because it is male dominant. In this industry, obviously women have to work harder. But for me, the issue is the inequality of rappers in the industry holistically. The one thing that really sucks is that no matter who you are or what you have accomplished, you constantly have to defend yourself. You have to blow your own horn or no one listens. I feel like it is not like that for other genres as much. It is so sad. Just a few days ago, Nadiana Kai had a sit down with Lady Zama on her life, talking about fame and music. The ladies ended up opening up so much about their individual journeys in the industry, also considering the two very different genres they are in. Nadiana Kai believes that her music would be doing better and she would be considered more if, if she was a male. She also explained that, according to her, the people are not ready to hear the female narrative, and being a female in her gender makes everything harder than it should be. Also raising an issue with the inequality in her industry, this is what she said. I learned that people are not ready to hear female narratives. They are really not ready. They will be excited to hear a male artist album, and there will be a whole lot of vibe. With my album, I didn't feel that. I felt like they didn't feel they could relate. On the other hand, Lady Zamar feels like South Africa is sleeping on her music simply because her hit collide was not appreciated in South Africa until her fans and listeners are from UK. America and Botswana was playing her song. So her song became the number one hit in other countries before South Africa. And when it did, South Africa then hopped on the train and started playing and loving it. Lady Zama also spoke about how other South African radio stations raised issues about her song before it went viral in South Africa. My listenership ranges from America to the UK and Botswana. Everyone outside the country will appreciate my music. With Collide, the reason it became a big song in South Africa was that it was a big song outside the country first. Then they jumped on. Now that it is number one in another country, you want to jump on it, she said. Adding that South Africa radio stations had raised issues with it until it blew up elsewhere. T-Squad, how do you feel about this? Do leave your comments down below. I love you.